Okay, so I made it through the falls. Uh, but yeah, and yeah, in my car, uh, it, it's dark. Well, I'm in the dark now because I put uh, up the like window sun shield, whatever it's called. You put it in the inside in the windshield to keep the sun out and keep your car not uh, as hot. <laughs> and it also blocks people's view from looking in here. I don't know what they are going to think of me if they see me talking uh, by myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably just going to think some crazy guy is in his car talking to himself. Yeah, I, I just want to talk about um, the drive over here. But, oh man, it, this is like the most stressful drive of my life. I think the only time I've mentioned driving on, on in my videos is like when I bought this car uh, and then also that one video where I, I talked about uh, witnessing a car accident. For me, driving has been fine. I've never really looked at driving as being something other than just getting from point A to point B. And when I was a teenager, I just wasn't really that excited about getting my driver's license. I, I did go to driving school and passed, but it wasn't like, I, I only got my driver's license because I had to, because I, I got a summer job uh, and I needed a car to drive uh, to and from it, it, and my parents didn't want it. Oh, wow. Wow, the, the lighting just changed. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Now I'm... Oh, that was weird. Wow. Can, <laughs> can the lighting come back? Is that, that actually looks really good. Driving can be nerve-wracking, and that's uh, what one of the reasons why not all... Uh, autistic people drive. Up until now, I have not had a drive that's been a, as stressful as one I just had getting here. Uh, like, for, So to get here, I get on the, the highway uh, and just pretty much drive for a while, hours, uh, and here in Idaho, the speed limit is 80 miles per hour, which I'm sure that might seem really high. And, and it is, uh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. They, they raised the speed limit from 65 to 80 some years ago. Uh, uh, it's only on the highway and ooh, the lighting's back. Great. <laughs> And uh, it's only in between cities, really. It, once you drive into a city on the highway, now I'm back in the dark. Yeah, if, if you once you drive into the city on the highway, then the speed limit drops back down to 65. Although I would have put the speed limit at like 75 max. So I'm. Um, Driving here, my f speed does fluctuate, but yeah, but, yeah, but I stay around the speed limit at 80, and in my mirror, I, I see like a big pickup truck behind me, uh, and then this truck just gets closer and closer, and pretty much just tailgating and then starts flashing 
its headlights right at, at me on and off and on off and on several times and I'm just like what the hell I'm going they're going <laughs> the car next to me seems to be pulling out but yeah but I'm I'm going maybe a little bit over the speed limit one or two miles per hour finally the truck pulls out around and past me and I'll, and then starts honking at me see if the lighting stays like that but yeah so anyway this truck which is hauling a boat by the way it's pulling up next to me honking its horn and and I do look over and I see the driver in in the window flipping me off like that and then keeps going in front of me and there goes the light again dang it <laughs> oh well uh but yeah anyway truck pulls ahead of me and then changes lanes to get right in front of me kind of close by the way and then driver rolls down the i'm, I'm just gonna say it's a he but rolls down the window and then starts flipping me off again holds holds the his middle finger out the window for a little bit. And I'm just like, what the fuck, man? Why? What are you even doing? I'm not doing anything wrong. And do you really think you're helping? You giving me the middle finger gonna see what I'm doing wrong and help you? Makes no sense. But finally, the the truck and the boat pull away and just keeps going and going. Yeah, so that, that really stressed me out and got my anxiety up and I can feel anxiety like all throughout my body. Like, like kind of, to me it's kind of like, kind of a buzzing sensation or tingling, tingling slash buzzing sensation just up and down my whole body. I'm just like, seriously. But, but that, that was the only thing. Later on, down the road, uh, a, a semi-truck in the, the right lane, and the speed limit for a semi-truck is lower. 10, 10, 80. I think it's 70 miles per hour for big trucks like those. And so, so I'm in the left left lane, gonna pass the truck. Uh, in in a, in a little bit. But also behind me, I see in my mirror a car get into the right lane and start speeding up more and more yeah coming on th this side of me and I can tell the car is trying to pass me up but I can also tell that they're not going to make it before I get to the semi truck uh, unless they suddenly go 100 miles per hour but but they don't and they don't make it so uh, that, that, that also freaked me out, because, yeah, because then I'm still going, and I keep my speed consistent, and then, and I come up to the semi-truck, the other car that's trying to pass me, and goes back behind me, and then changes lane so now they're back behind me again and I'm still going and passing the semi truck and then once I get past the semi truck then the other car passes me and it's like why couldn't you have just waited until I was past the semi truck yeah you just could have waited one minute or two longer and then it would have been a lot safer like seriously and then farther down the road, uh, the almost exact same thing 
happened again. Like, yeah, really nerve wracking. Yeah, just like, what the fuck are people thinking? I might not be the world's greatest driver, but you know, I, I obey all the laws and well, most of the time. <laughs> I, I have gotten a speeding ticket. It was when I was driving back from Colorado when I was work working on that reality TV show. I was driving through Wyoming. Yeah, and Wy Wyoming doesn't have 80 mile per hour speed limits. It, I think there's more like 65, maybe 70, but yeah, yeah, I was driving and I, I get pulled over. I, I think I was going like about 10 miles over the speed limit and then I get a ticket in Wyoming. <laughs> Although I'm glad there was a cop later on down the road I was driving. And not, not in this car, in my other car that, that I had, the, the one before this. And yeah, and I, was, I was just driving, not really paying attention and to, to my speed until I look down at my odometer and I'm, I'm going over a hundred miles per hour. I'm like, oh, whoops. Uh, I better uh, slow down. <laughs> and yeah, I, I didn't mean to. So yeah, so yeah, it's slow down. But I'm glad, yeah, glad that the cop didn't see, see me when I was going that fast. Cause then, then the, my ticket probably would have been a lot higher. I'm not the world's best driver, but who is, but it's like, what was I doing wrong? I don't think I was doing anything wrong. And if I was, I probably won't know. It's not like the guy flipping me off would tell me. I, I just picked a bad day to take a road trip. Oh, okay. Might be slightly different angle because the memory card in my camera filled up because I can't tell a short story. <laughs> but yeah, so all, all I hope is that the trip back home is a lot less stressful uh, than it was coming here. And I've driven this trip uh, before, or, or this route, yeah, I actually had to do this trip more than once before, and, and, uh, all those times were fine, <laughs> uh, yeah, not nearly as stressful as today, so, so, if you're watching this now, you, you might get a sense of why, uh, uh, some people with autism or anxiety or both like me that uh, they choose not to drive and don't don't like driving I mean e even today I don't you know really really like driving I, I just I, w I would prefer just to uh, be a passenger <laughs> days like this just reinforce that. So, yeah, 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 I, I don't blame anyone who chooses not to drive. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, and th this video has been so long, I, I think I'm just going to make it another vlog.